Hi, I'm John English. I want to talk to you today about um, the options of using oil paint. Oil as a medium is incredibly diverse. I have this pile of material here in front of me that, you know, some of it uh, can relate to traditional oil painting. And what I mean by that is what most people think about oil painting is painting uh, fat over lean, starting with a thin underpainting and developing um, your piece with thicker paint as, as you work through the process. Um, you know, beyond uh, paying attention to the archival quality, which my number one rule in that is don't, don't use water base on top of uh, an oil product. Uh, beyond that, there's a there's a multitude of ways to approach you know some of the traditional things I have here obviously the the brushes and the the, um, the uh, tube oil paint and some of the oil painting mediums linseed oil and Gamsol as a as a thinner are the obvious things but I also have house paint I have acrylic in a tube um, I have wax which can make your paint very transparent and give a very nice uh, impasto feel to it. Um, with wax you need to, to use a dryer because it, it won't dry without it. Um, I also have things that you wouldn't think of that, that you can bring into a piece. Uh, this is a, a, a Prismacolor pencil. I mean it's not something I would generally use but if I was working very dry I could put use the Prismacolor to lay down a, a a tone or a color and then melt it with a, a brush. Go back in and work with a little bit of paint, a um, little bit of, of, of kind of dry paint on the brush that's close to the color I want uh, that of the Prismacolor and blend it into the paint. I can do the same thing, even more so, with, an, with a cray pot, with an oil crayon. Um, oil, oil crayons and Prismacolor pencils melt with the terps and the paint. Um, and I, I would generally do that if I put if I started my painting with uh, with an acrylic underpainting first. Um, some of the materials I have to the the, uh, the tools I have here. Oh oh, there's one other thing here. The uh, the oil sticks are very much like the the oil uh, are, are very much like the oil crayons, the cray paws, but they're even more direct and they're they're softer. Um, and you can put down a lot of paint very quickly with them. A lot of material. Uh, and then manipulate them with a knife or with a uh, with a brush. Um, I have the, tip the traditional uh, palette knives and putty knives and larger knives that you can drag paint around with. But also, I even have things I've made uh, cardboard. I've got to watch Francis Livingston do a. Um, demonstration last year and he was tearing apart cardboard and, and then, then dragging his paint and he got all of this very, uh, the, the difference, uh, mark making of these rough edges uh, pushed through his paint just was absolutely beautiful. Um, I guess my message is uh, don't limit yourself. Um, try, try a lot of different materials. Pay attention to the archival quality of your piece but um, really take a chance to, and, and, and try some different things with different materials.